Hi, we're back. This is Dr. Christine Rankin with our Thursday rendition of Chiropractic Myths Part 2. I wanted to just jump right in here and say last video we covered a lot of information and ended up being about 15 minutes long, which is a little bit more than what I had planned on. So a little bit windy. We'll try to keep this one a little bit more concise. I believe we left off with chiropractic adjustments where people were assuming chiropractic doesn't work for me, the adjustments hurt, am I going to get out of this what I'm paying for it? <laughs> that typically is one of the big big questions in, in deterrence to care, which is my next phase here in the part two video are getting out of the financial mess and the financial concerns of trying chiropractic care for the first time. So I'll give you um, a, little, a little bit of insight here to the inside of the chiropractic profession where most doctors are more than willing to do a free consultation, but many of them do low cost or no charge exams as well. So if you're tro trolling through um, the internet and you decide you look on a couple pages and you see somebody you like, Call them up and ask them if they have any new patient specials. There's a couple different ways that people do chiropractic. Some is for pain care. Uh, what we do here is injury care recovery or pain management after an auto accident injury or work injury are very, very popular cases here at South Metro Wellness Clinic in Burnsville um, or wellness care for short term or long term, as well as rehabilitative and restorative where we actually go through and formulate a treatment plan that's going to help take care of the problem short term and then long term. Um, as we discussed last time, there's no such thing as a cure. You will not be able to completely, you know, not do any type of care and expect to maintain your results. But when you get very, very good results after you've corrected a problem, you can expect to do wellness care or maintenance care on a much less frequent basis, which is very, very affordable. I think the biggest thing that people need to remember when you're talking about costs with healthcare is how long did you wait? You know, did you let the tooth rot? Did you let the pain get away from you? Did you wait until the last minute till you couldn't stand it? It is within our human DNA <laughs> to want to do that because it is so easy to convince ourselves um, that we're right or that we know best or that we know better um, where most of us did not go to school to be, me to be medical doctors or attorneys. And we don't know if you have a feeling that you're right and something else is wrong, that's okay. Do some research, ask some questions. But um, when it comes down to it, uh, we don't we don't know everything. We have to leave some of those things to the experts. So it's really, really, really easy to hope that everything will just go away and get better on its own, but it doesn't. And some of the worst cases I've had where people break down in tears, like if I'd only known, if I'd only known that chiropractic was an option for me, I would have done it a long time ago. And that's why we believe in education here at South Metro Wellness and supporting people in making that decision. Bringing your spouse to a report of findings and going over the results is also very, very important. So let's say we're at that point where you've come into a chiropractic office where it's this or any office. I can only attest to what it is that we do here. Um, but typically many of the things that I do here rhyme with what other chiropractors who practice for wellness care do as well. Let's say that you are presenting for care. You've done the exam. You're ready to look into a treatment plan and you've decided that you want to go forward. There are a multitude of ways to do things. I'm about as flexible as Jello when it comes to affording chiropractic care. We do take insurance. Most offices do take insurance. However, the insurance health insurance climate in general has decayed significantly. People's premiums are very high. People's deductibles are very, very high. So within South Metro Wellness and the chiropractic community and the chiropractic culture now is to look at a treatment plan, figure out how to formulate it in a way to fit into someone's lifestyle and their budget so that they can actually afford to come in for care. So my dentist offers a 5% discount on all cash plans. If you're paying in bulk or you're paying ahead, she offers 5%. I actually offer 10. So if you're coming in for a chiropractic treatment and you have absolutely no insurance or you have insurance that does not cover, which is about 80% of the time, unless you are a Medicare patient. Medicare has just started to follow suit of what major medical companies have done in the last couple years. So we bring in what we call a patient payment agreement. We don't do any actual contracts here. This is just a piece of paper that says, here, how many visits are recommended. I only pay for what I get. So let's say 14 visits are recommended and you do seven and you just decide that it's not for you. Um, if you paid ahead, the other seven are refunded to you or you can just pay as you go. There's a number of ways to do things. But the main thing to understand is, and this is what my, my first mentor, Dr. Amy, taught me, I've mentioned her in the last video, is that we're, we're reading some scripts back then. People did, people did a lot more scripts. I'm obviously off script. I don't use a, a, lot, a lot of cue cards here. But she had these scripts and I read them. 
and it talked about how people value their health against other things. And it was really interesting how the doctor, Dr. C.J. Mertz, had taught Dr. Amy and a lot of her classmates this, that people will actually spend more money on their teeth, on caribou, on their cars, <laughs> and their kids playing sports than they ever will on their actual health. Now, your teeth are your health teeth are very, very important, but your chiropractic bills do not look like dental bills. You will not have a heart attack when you see them. There are no secrets. So when we go through and do a report of findings and make recommendations for you, you have all of the answers on the table. All of your questions are answered. You don't have to sign anything say, saying that you're going to do a long contract. Uh, we actually don't do contracts as stated previously. So it's a little bit more flexible than probably what you've heard. That's a very, very common myth. Don't sign anything and don't get sucked in and, and A, B, and C. Um, we hear it all the time. And I'm still thankful that those patients come in. And like we talked about before, keeping that door of communication open, letting people know that there are a lot of options for them. They are affordable. And your monthly care is going to cost less than what you put in your gas, <laughs> what you put in your gas tank uh, to get to work. That I, can, that I can promise you. So people are actually very, very surprised when they find out how affordable care is. I'm asking you to continue to maintain results. I know that it will not be feasible for people to do that if the care is not made affordable. So everything is put on the table from day one. There are no secrets and all questions are answered before you commit to or agree to anything. And fees are always disclosed before services are rendered. That way you have the option to accept or decline. That's the first thing. I'm um, touching a little bit more on insurance coverage with the accidents that happen. If you are injured in a work, in, if you're injured in a workplace, or if you're driving your car, whether you were considered the at fault driver or not, you are not responsible for paying out of pocket for consultations, exams, x rays, films, all of those pieces that uh, I'll go into the working parts when you build an auto file are billed over to your auto insurance carrier. So let's say you pay a premium to State Farm every month or you pay a premium to AAA every month like what I do. Your AAA will issue you a claim number. You'll have an adjuster and that's the claim number that you will bring to the office when we begin, we begin treating you as far as a consultation exam. X-ray is referring you out to another pain care doctor. If you've already seen another doctor, um, making sure everything is documented very, very clearly. So you are not expected to pay out of pocket if you have a claim number regarding a work injury um, or an auto accident injury. And if you are carrying regular health insurance, bring in a copy. I check on absolutely everyone's insurance. So if you are carrying insurance and you just don't know if chiropractic care is covered, whether it's in network or out of network, whenever I call the insurance company, I get a comparison of both so that I can let you know exactly if you were to go to an in-network doctor versus an out-of-network clinic like what this clinic is, we have a little bit more freedom that way. We don't have to follow insurance companies' rules. Their job is to make sure you get out of pain as quickly as possible um, and get off their payroll. <laughs> that's their motivation to, to pay as little as possible. And that's the way the insurance climate and culture has evolved in the last, I would say, seven or eight years. So it's very, very important that we continue to build the value of what our health is. Um, I don't treat based upon what an insurance company will do or what they will say that they will do. Um, and once again, that all goes back to clear communication and making sure you know exactly what your obligations are going to be. So uh, just to recap here, if you're injured in a car accident or at work, bring in your claim number. You're not responsible for anything out of pocket. If you do have insurance, you're not sure what it will do. It's my job to help you understand that by calling the insurance company and getting a comparison of both. If you do not have insurance, you're a self-pay patient. Care is always made affordable. There are no contracts. All agreements are very, very clear, transparent on day one um, after you decide to, to commit to care. So once again, if there's any questions on that, feel free to give me a call. Our phone number here at South Metro Wellness Clinic is 952 eight nine two five zero zero six or you can stop in i'm always waving so if you walk in the front door and i'm sitting up there working you at least get one wave if not a double because i'm usually up there waving at people so you know you're in the right place um he's nodding his head yes <laughs> i'm typically either smiling laughing or waving or all three at once um seeing people in here this is my home this is where we practically live this is my purpose so anything i can do to help make sure that chiropractic care is brought to you in the most affordable accessible manner is my responsibility as your doctor should you choose to come here so with that once again happy thursday i hope everyone had a fantastic new year's eve and stayed safe out there stay warm and until next week live your best life